Hello, it's Sarah. <clears throat> now, I am finishing up a few projects, cleaning off my desk. Figured I'd turn on the camera. I wanted to share these projects I finished. This is the Tracy Moreau class that I did on Saturday. I actually just finished this last night, which is what would have been Tuesday night. Because like I said, during a class, I don't do my best work. Um, trying to keep up or be part of the chat it just makes it more difficult Joe cut this out of MDF manufactured density I don't know what it's called <laughs> I don't know anyway I did not use the stencil I got it late but I did order it there should be a, a wood grain very subtle pattern behind it but I think it looks fine without it I, I was able to get a couple of these three-dimensional bees. Can you see that? They're, they're popped up. And I just think it looks so cute. And it's the message. Be kind. This will hang in my craft room. I just love it. Um, you know, again, I want to show you. So I did it on that piece. She had it on a big tag. So this is a small tag. Um, I am going to put, I think, this ribbon. I don't know, I, I think like a gingham. She had a gingham on it and I thought it looked really cute. I, this just fell out of a, I was looking for, and I don't think I'm going to use it. It's too fancy. I want it to be more rustic. It was with jute. Jute would look fine. Um, again, Joe cut this out of the, uh, you know what it is. I don't know. Anywho, these were what I painted during the class. And uh, cute. I found out that I definitely should have sealed the wood. I didn't do anything to it. I just started painting right on it. And it was weird because then even when I varnished it, um, anywho, it, it was cute. But I decided to take, these came from Hobby Lobby as is. They were just like this. They were like that. So kind of um, already whitewashed. Um, and I just traced on, I just figured out a, a piece of the pattern that would fit and put it on there with the words, you are my sunshine. I just love that. I have a couple of jump rings here because what I decided to try was putting some chain on here instead of the jute, which is fine. Jute is good. But I have so much stuff, you guys. I have, I've been enjoying, where did I just put my thing now? Oh, it's behind this. You know, so I just go find it, and look, I have these, I have every size jump ring, all these different types of chain, so I just auditioned a, a few different ones and came up with this as my choice. <clears throat> kind of like a Rolo chain, but it's a little more, it's not bright, bright silver. Anywho, it is what it is. I'm going to take these little jump rings now. So I've already attached, I don't know, I mean, this is a good half an inch wide jump ring into the holes. Now I'm going to put this on the chain and then attach it to the that jump ring. That looks a little wonky. That's good. Um, hopefully I opened it up wide enough to go around this. Yep. And then you just close the jump ring. I don't know. I just, I wanted to see what it looked like. So I'm going to do it again and we'll see. I thought it could fit around a doorknob or something like that. Not that a jute wouldn't, but I don't know. I just, for some reason, it came to me that I could put chain around. I, for some reason, I pictured these giant jump rings that I had. And I don't know why, but here we are. Oh. Okay. So that's what it looks like. I mean, it's a look, you know. I think it looks good. You can hang it on the wall. It's a little long, so that's what I mean. Like, I thought it could hang off of something. A lot of times in my home, if I have a... Um, like say a, a sofa table or something with knobs like a little drawer knob pull knob pull I have baskets that I hang I have heart-shaped baskets that I hang there or I'll hang like 
any little doodah, you know, that I have. Because <laughs> I've painted so many things, I run out of space to put them. <laughs> so yeah, so um, that's what I'm doing today. So I also did order the Rapidograph, and I wanted to do a little share of that. This is the, um, still, today I feel like it's going to be like 80-something degrees. I played pickleball yesterday, which went really well. I'm getting better. This was my second week of the um, clinic that I signed up for. Um, but it's hot. I don't like 80, so I would be happy to sit in my craft room. So this is the first one I ordered, the Rapida Sketch. And I feel like they were both around the same price. They're the same size nib. So I'm not sure the difference. Um, these are the pens that Barbara Nielsen would use to do um, one of her eggs. I'm just going to reach over. I gave, we went for Easter, we went to uh, brunch. We've been going to brunch for, I want to say, at least five years um, the family, uh, my husband's side of the family. Anywho, I gave Donna one. And so that was the first one that I parted with. But Barbara Nielsen does these very light washes of color with pen as the details. And it's so fun. Um, anywho, I have a project. I'm going to do the rooster today. I'm going to get it all prepped. I have this traced out, my tracing. This is the design. And it's just going to go on this, um, again, another piece of MDF. And we leave the, the tape on the back so that when I get messy, I don't um, get it on there. That's what I did with the other ones. Anywho, I'm going to ink this whole thing first. First, I trace it on with blue Sorel paper. Maybe I'll show you that process. We'll see. Let's do the pen. So... I got this Rapida sketch, it's a .25, and I, what I've been using, I've shared in my previous videos, is this one. It's just a .05. Um, I may have to zoom in a little, I don't want to lose ya. So let's do some, some, let's see, okay. And what the other thing is, these are refillable, so you never have to replace the pen as long as the nib stays in good shape. So this is waterproof ink, Black India ink. I think I already messed this up though. I filled it up. Let me see if I, um, let me just grab, oh, I just want to get a paper towel and see if this is all messy. The ink comes out a little bit, but let me just see if it'll write. Fingers crossed. I'm just going to write hello. Nope. For some reason, I messed it up and I can't get it to come out and it is literal it's like a a pin the head of a pin I move it to this is it focusing it's frustrating because it worries me because I am just so rough I think I did write this hello how are you doing? I think I wrote that with it. I can't get it to write. This is the um, Molotow. Molotow. Actually, I think I wrote that with the Molotow. All right, so let me come back up. Alexa, turn on the craft fan. It's already getting hot in here. Well, it's going to be 80 today, and it says it's 77 already. It's noon. Um, oh, it's 1 o'clock already. Holy cow. All right, so this is the Rapidograph, and this comes with a little bit of directions, which is awesome, because this one did not. So maybe it will give me some tips on how to... Maybe if my tip isn't working, it'll give me a little troubleshooting thing or something. We'll see. I think it's really just going to tell me how to... Fill it with ink. <coughs> and it comes with this, which I don't know what this is. I think this might be how you open, it might be the lock. I think this was around $25. I ordered it on Amazon. So let me just see here. Very similar to the sketch. 
it's the same body basically just a different color Colonor Colonor alright so I have to put some ink in here ooh this says point twenty five so I feel like this might be it, you may be able to change the nibs and that's the difference this one is just the one nib the, it's a permanent nib this one may have changing nibs so let me put the lid back on these lids screw on and that will protect it but I want to unscrew the back because this is where the ink goes oh boy I forget how I I'm gonna um, maybe that's what this is for <laughs> I don't know this is how you change the nibs I'll bet you yeah there's a little locky thing and that's how I would change the nibs which I am NOT gonna mess around with however I would like to okay so I got this unscrewed and then you can pull off this is the little well for the ink I didn't get any ink with it but I have this holder I'm hopefully not going to make a mess there's a line oh dear all right I'm putting that much that's plenty <sighs> okay this goes back on here and then this goes back on here and screws to it and then this goes on here so not really complicated then I believe I just have to have it upside down for a little bit so I'm just gonna stick it in a in my little cup that I keep my um, q-tips in it just has to come down into the nib so here it says pen care I just want to see if there's any troubleshooting on here um, startup activation it's in several languages so let's see it does say that it has um, after each use and before capping wipe the nib with a lint free saturated with Rapida Ease pen cleaner to remove any dried and to prevent any clogging well I don't have any of that alright I don't see any troubleshoot ooh, cleaning Oh, I'm sure that's just ooh, restarting if ink does not start to flow dip the nib in the in Rapida Ease which I don't have and wipe with a lint free cloth do not shake the pen hold the pen point and tap the back on a hard surface several times all right persistent tapping may damage the nib yeah well hello I am very rough on my stuff so let's see I close this ink see what's going to happen here nothing and I don't want to push it's like a needle tip I'm so nervous oh my gosh I don't even know what to do I gotta read that again all right let me go away and see if I can get it working all right so I don't want to tap it like this I just want to go like this that's what the direction said and then it just says draw on me media paper type stuff until ink appears I'm so afraid to push harder ah sorry I got ink that is amazing it makes me happy but let's see look at that now I am pushing so gently this is so delicate well I mean I don't think it's delicate it's I mean tiny it's a tiny tip so you could draw a little bow Ooh, the ink kind of feels like if I leave it on the paper it wants to pull um, how about bunny eyes just because I've been doing them so much it's a little shaky but yeah you can get really tiny lines a little bunny nose ok 
Can you see that? Oh my god, it's so small. It's so small. Look, it's as big as his face is on my fingernail. It's like if you drew a little face on a fingernail. So here's a little tulip. It's a little, uh, it, it picks at this paper. Um, do you know what I'm trying to say? Like, it can kind of get stuck in the paper. Um, anywho. I'm going to play with this today. I'm going to use it. It's so tiny. I'm so excited, though, because the one I have is a .05, this one, the Molotov, which, which I feel safer using because I'm such, I'll break it. <laughs> like... And I haven't. I've done every bit of inking I've done so far with it. And I have an extra. And I think they're like $5. So they're not a lot. Um, I'm going to still see if I can get this to work. But maybe replacing the nib is the way to go. So for those of you looking into buying, pay, putting out the 25 bucks. So here's the difference. The Rapida Sketch, you can't replace the nib. But it came with ink. This one didn't come with ink, but you can replace the nib. So you could probably get a little collectible tin thing with all your different size nibs and be a happy camper. So I'm excited. I got it to work. This one just came with this, but I think there's even a place for that in here. Look, this little container, I will just keep my Rapida graph in here since it works. Looks like this might be a place for some more nibs. I don't know because look I can hold it all yeah I, I mean it's sad but I don't know what I did to it I did do some oh see I see black <gasps> no. maybe I just have to be patient and let it flow and I don't know or get that cleaner stuff right maybe I, ooh. oh my god you guys I just had to be patient do you see that it's starting to make ink come out? This is the crazy thing about me. I was not patient enough to wait and see if this would work before I ordered another one. <laughs> oh my god, I have another one now. They seem to be very... Sim now look, that's how dark... This one's really fine. The other one had a little bit. That's what I just did it. The Rapida sketch. Look at this. I mean the Rapida graph. And this is the Rapida sketch. I'm excited because this one even seems a little finer. It's maybe it's lighter. No, it's getting darker now. Well, I'm going to have to clean it. Maybe I will order um, something that... Oh, see, it's a little leaky. I don't know what I did to it, but maybe I can clean... I'm going to read the cleaning instructions now that I have instructions. There's just a little... Um, I don't know what you call it, like a gappy thing. I just wanted to see if it would pull, it pulled in there. I'm so excited I got it to work again. It's a little skippy though. Wow, I got it to work. It's skippy though. But it could just be because this paper. But I mean, maybe I want to work on paper. All right, stop. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm just excited. All right, let me come back up. So just today then... I will be working on my rooster. I wanted to clear my desk off because I had a bunch of different paint out. So the first thing I have to do, and I'll come back in the next video, I'll get this all lined up, and I will attempt to share how I am going to transfer this onto the piece, and then I can start inking. So remember, be kind. Play. I got to. Oops. I got to put more chain on the other one. Let me know in the comments. What do you think of the chain? I think it's fine. Anywho, love you guys. Thanks for watching.